hey guys hope you all are doing well today i'm going to design a drip irrigation system by using excel sheet in previous videos we just go through on theories what is et naught what is kc and what is plant plant and total row space now we are implementing all these things in design okay now we are selecting total area where we want to install our drip irrigation systems for olive okay we are designing for olive orchard now we select two acre areas and each not value each not is uh, any area evaporate transpirations values now we are selecting these values for check wall area okay 8.5 millimeter per day you can get each not values from your near gas stations if you are any countries you can in, uh, submit applications to get in out values from the gas stations they will provide you easily okay but after some procedures now here we are using 8.5 each in out values here is the kc value 0 0.7 kc is the crop factor at maturity okay it's just for uh, this value of crop which one which we are using we are using olive okay olive kc value is 0 0.7 okay no guys there's two things by selecting plant to plant spacing and row to row spacing if you have rectangle area then you can take same values of plant to plant spacing and row to row spacing but if you have any rectangle or other areas then you should take two to three feet more spacing in row space instead of plant space means each uh, plant space is 5.49 you should take row space 6.5 five why we are taking uh, more spacing in this uh, in this row spacing because we need to plug or seed by using that more space we can move easily on this way if you will take same space then you don't have to move in in your fields okay so you should take more space in row space you can easily move because your little are on plant spacing along the plant spacing not a row spacing sure you can easily move on the row spacings okay hope you got my point no canopy area you know uh, already what is the formula to calculate canopy area canopy area plant to plant spacing multiply by row to row spacing and multiply by canopy factor h maturity okay this one click on enter you will get your canopy area this is 13.55 is your plant canopy area okay and uh, what should be the canopy factor at maturity we use 45 here because 
uh, small plants have less canopy area but you can calculate canopy area by using this formula pi r square divided by plant plant and rotor row space then you can get canopy factor at maturity but to calculate canopy factor at maturity we just move our values 45 to 60 means um, small uh, small plants have 45 canopy factor and but mature plants have maximum 60 percent canopy factor no irrigation system efficiency i already discussed about that irrigation system efficiency has 90 percent no emitter flow emitter flow rate mean dripper flow rate which type of dripper you need to select to apply apply the water for your plant okay here we are using 8 lph liter per hour flow rate emitter okay here's number of emitter per plant is six number of emitters per plant why we are using six why we are not using two because if we multiply eight lph multiply by six then we can get peak daily consumptive use for plant okay means they will complete the water of one plant okay no emitter spacing along the letter we are using 0 0.4 but we already shared formula you can calculate by using that formula okay why we are using 0 0.4 because in starting you have a little plant they don't need to they don't have large canopy area so we just in starting we one point you should note we will not install all number of six emitters in starting the six emitters or drippers means it's for mature plant not a small plant not just for one year's plant okay that's for mature plant in starting you can use just three emitters for plant because they will come they will provide require water to that plants okay number guys uh, total number of deep lines per we will select two why we are using two number of deep lines per row because if we use one deep lines they will not provide according to the plant requirements okay so we need to two number of deep lines per row for the requirements of the plants okay irrigation cycle uh, it should be daily basis irrigation cycle okay you should take one day just uh, assume one day not more than okay you need to apply uh, water on daily basis okay has peak daily consumptive use per day means one plant 
need 2.98 millimeters per day water requirements of one plant okay that's the uh, requirements of one plant one plant okay how we can calculate big daily concept to use we already in the discuss uh, in the uh, theories you can use by this formula okay which you need each not value multiply by kc value and multiply by canopy factor h maturity over mean divided by irrigation system efficiency then you can calculate peak daily consumptive use of a plant here on total number of plants you can calculate total number of plants total area divided by plant to plant and row to row space plant to plant and row to row space you have 269 plants in this two acres okay total decline length will use in two acre areas you can also calculate by using formula total number of area divided by row spacings and multiply by number of drip lines per row two then you have total drip line length to nine two thousand nine hundred forty eight meter required for total two acre area okay his total number of emitters total number of emitters you can calculate by multiplying total number of plants multiply by total number of emitters per plants then you can get total number of emitters in two acre areas okay average emitter spacing along lateral this is 0 0.4 meter we already discussed here why we are using 0 0.4 meter here total flow rate means how many flow rate we need to apply for the that plants okay you can calculate by using formula total number of meters multiply by emitter flow rate that is your total flow rate his application rate his uh, application rate we can find application rate by using formula total flow rate divided by total area the question is raising here what is this this is question for you you will give me answer what is this and what is the val value of this okay then we find 1.6 application rate operations time we can calculate operation time by using 
peak teleconceptive use divided by application rate you have total operations time 1.86 hours to irrigate your two acre areas guys hope you understand these designs now after this uh, i will share with you layout on the autocads where you can design how you can use uh, your pipelines where you can use your walls and where should be the head unit okay i will share in the next video thank you so much please uh, subscribe my channels and uh, like videos and share with your friends to get knowledge about drip irrigation designs okay thank you so much take care bye bye